So, Pieta wants me to have a look at one of their new guns for them. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what it is. We happy? Huh? We happy? Yeah, we happy. That is a beautiful revolver. So stick around and I'll get it out and let you have a look at it. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. That's right, Pieta sent this one out so that I could share it in video form with all of you, so big thanks to Pieta for that. So what have we got here, according to the box? 1873 Great Western II, but this is a special one. This here on the box, this is a Davidson's exclusive, and I'm told by the representative who contacted me that this is currently, maybe even forever, I'm not sure, but only available at Gallery of Guns. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can check it out. But let's do a little bit of an unboxing here like I usually do. We've got a little safety manual, firearms responsibility in the home, paperwork, Pieta Brotherhood Firearms sticker. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen that in one of these before. Let's see, typical owner's manual and stuff. And now right down to the nitty gritty. So let's take a look. I'm actually very excited about this one. As if I'm ever not excited about any of them. But this is a nickel finish one. It is also uh, chambered in 45 Colt and it has a four and three quarter inch barrel. First time I've ever had a four and three quarter inch barrel on the channel in 45 Colt. You probably have noticed I usually like to buy the seven and a half inch barrels and then recently I showed a Taurus that had a five and a half. Let's go ahead and get rid of this tag. Oh, that's really on there. There we go. And that might need to be cut off later. But there it is. It's got the white checkered plastic grips, a two-piece grip. The or almost said stainless. No, it's a nickel finish. It's got typical Pieta markings on it, uh, but down under the bottom. So it's not, you know, intrusive as we sometimes say the Pieta ones are. This actually looks very, very nice. It's marked 45 Colt on the side. Uh, very oily as they typically are when they're new. Let's just make sure it's not loaded. There's nobody else in here, so I'm not pointing at anybody, but still, we've got there one, two, three, four, five, and six. Not sure if you can see that, but they are all empty. And let's just have a, a feel of that action. Four click hammer. I always like that, historically correct. Yeah, very, very smooth. And now, why don't I give you a nice close-up at it? Off camera, I went ahead and wiped off some of that oil, although there's still plenty left. But what a gorgeous gun. That's why I wanted to give you this close-up look at it. And I'll give you the other side, too. That's where I told you it has 45 Colt there. It even has little patent dates. I just noticed that. Didn't notice that when I pulled it out a moment ago. That's pretty nice. A great copy of the 1873 Colt Single Action Army. And again, my first one with a four and three quarter inch barrel, so I'm excited to have it here. This one, you can see, has this spring-loaded release. That's different from my other Pieta 1873. You may remember that one has what they call the black powder screw right up here. So this would be a reproduction of a little bit later one. And let's go ahead and take a look at the action. There's a loading gate, and I don't know how well you could see the chambers before. So pull the hammer to half cock to free up the cylinder, and... It's very, very smooth. Everything on it, it pulls back just like butter, and it's got a good spring. I know it'll hit the primers hard. It has a nice tall front sight, like most 1873 copies. That way it doesn't shoot so high like the cap and ball versions do. Let me scoop my head over out of the way so I can turn and show you that big 45 caliber bore. I always think that's such an awesome look on these revolvers to have that great big tunnel <laughs> going right through them. I think this is going to strike some fear in the carbonated bandits of the high fructose gang when they come around again, which I'm sure they will. But anyway, there's a nice close-up look for you at this new Davidson's exclusive Great Western II. Well, as always, I really hope you enjoyed the video today and the first look at this Davidson's exclusive 1873 Great Western II from Pieta. I have to say, Pieta really does, and you've seen it on my channel before with others, but they make some great copies 
of the Colt Single Action Army, and this is not an exception. This is a beautiful gun. Can't wait to get it out in the desert and shoot it for you, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and if you ring the notification bell, you'll be getting a notification so you don't miss that. Well, as always, please don't forget to click the like button down there, too, and again, subscribe to the channel to see this and more videos. Also, if you look in the description, you're going to see where to find me on social media, as well as where to find all the great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.